and you would see that as the result of this other second member leaving and when if there were more people then of course any member would for whatever reason they would have left the group they would have created that void and vacuum and the rest of the group would felt would feel less secure whether physically or psychologically and that was the beginning of betrayal that that person is no longer with us not being with me creates hazard and danger for me physically because the other tribes could attack my village anytime or my group and would of course also deny me from the psychological security that I was after it never mind that psychological security is defeated when the physical security is pursued but so the roots of that betrayal the feeling of danger is still within the genes that has passed through thousands of years has come to us and now when we are in a relationship and the girl the girlfriend leaves or the boyfriend leaves whatever your uh, relationship is you feel the same kind of a danger from that program or that that has been transferred through the genes to you the feel of danger lack of physical security lack of cohesiveness and psychological security and that makes you feel anxious angry and feel something that you call betrayal as if this is those days and with such dangers are going to be facing you in more vicious way just because this person has left so the roots of the fact that you become so devastated so angry so upset when your your girlfriend or your boyfriend leaves you for another person or for whatever reason change your mind or it doesn't happen you and it's not just a regular mutually agreeable breakup you can you you label that consider that as a betrayal and the pain of it comes from thousands of years ago because betrayal meant life and death meant eating or not eating meant keeping the food or not and those days it wasn't like going from you know this across the street and you know buy it from you know your favorite uh, grocery store you had to go and fight for it you had to go hunt for it you had to gather it you had to protect it all that was a very important thing so each person leaving would be it, its its place and its effect would be felt strongly and that was a pain and danger that would accompany that behavior or that act or that decision of the other person member of the group and of course betrayal therefore today carries that same effects psychologically is implanted in the consciousness and we're conditioned to consider that as a danger as a, a, a betrayal with the consequences of that it had then even though it doesn't have now but you react to it as if it has that's why it becomes so so unbearable and so embarrassing to you so angry to you and gives you reasons for being rather apprehensive anxious depressed concerned worried and all these the rest of it but when you realize that there's no such danger here <laughs> the person can leave and you can still go to whole foods or whatever they it is like you buy buy your food and there's still police and everything for the for the protection and the laws that are there so you don't really have to feel that devastated but that is part of what you feel betrayal now we're talking about relationship we're not talking about family or this and that so forth that's all different uh, similar route but you know different levels and we're talking about these relationship things that it shouldn't bother you because look betrayal really it's uh, it's simply simply simplistically said it's like if you're in a in a park and you're throwing a ball you're throwing a you know tennis ball by hand not playing tennis tennis ball or a baseball you're throwing it okay person throws it the person has done the act of throwing the ball and somehow this ball hits you well you will say you threw the ball you hit me well the person threw the ball that's correct 
but the ball hit you. The person who threw the ball did not necessarily want it to hit you, aim at you and hit you. He just wanted to throw the ball for the pleasure of the game, for the fact that he wanted to throw how far he can throw it. His intentions was to interact and negotiate with the ball, throw the ball. And his act, action in that, whatever happened to you was the fact that he threw the ball. But the ball hit you. So, same thing with betrayal. The person who leaves you, leaves you for her or his way of dealing with his or her life based on pain or pleasure. You know, we all do things for pain and pleasure. The pleasure would tell that girl or that boy that it is more beneficial for you or there will be more things or provisions for you if you go and live alone or go and live with somebody else or go and be partner with somebody else. That was the act of that girlfriend or that boyfriend. But the intention was not to hurt you, to betray you. The intention was to do their own bidding, what they wanted to do according to what their own psyche and consciousness is put together, what their needs are, what they feel it would serve them best as everybody is trying to make this life as palatable and comfortable and you know whatever pleasurable as they see it for themselves. So the act of having left is because she or he wanted to make that change for his own benefit, but it was not meant or geared or focused on doing it to betray you. The act of betraying, the feeling of betraying comes when she leaves, when he leaves. So her part in this whole thing was the fact that she decided to do something else, to go somewhere else, to be with somebody else, or to do something else, live somewhere else, but was not to betray you. The betrayal, what you feel, happened because she's no longer there for your pleasure for your interest for your benefit and that is what the betrayal what has brought the betrayal not her not him so the ones who are actually feeling hurt or resentment toward the ex because you feel she betrayed me or he betrayed me believe me i don't think any one of them are as nasty as actually say I'm having fun here, I'm really having a good relationship, but I'm gonna leave just to diss this guy or diss this girl, just to betray him. There is no such thing, there's no such plan. Their purpose and intention of leaving or doing whatever it is they're doing is based on their own needs at that time and their own understanding of life and what it is that they see in, 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 in their journey. And the betrayal happens like that ball. The girl threw the ball, the ball hit you. The girl left, you feel betrayed. The feeling of betrayed is not the intention of the girl or the boyfriend who left you. He just threw the ball. He wanted to throw the ball for see what's, how far he can set, set, uh, throw it, what's good for him or her. The fact that you feel betrayal is because of all the programs that in your consciousness through the genes and through the history that we just talked about. So don't be so upset don't be so devastated look at it like this and you'll understand okay it's not personal it wasn't meant to target you it wasn't meant to hurt you everybody's trying to look after themselves and see what's good for them what brings more pleasure for them so and that's why they chose what they chose I hope it gives you something to think about and not be so bothered and focused on the fact that I've been betrayed. What is betrayal? Why should it be betrayal? Betrayal means nothing today in these sort of relationships so on. Nobody intends to betray the other one. They just threw the ball to see how far it goes. It just so happened to hit you. And what you feel, I don't think it's intentional. So have a wonderful day or evening and hope to talk to you soon.